Today I'm going to show you how to make sushi. The ingredients you will need are cane sugar, rice vinegar, sushi rice or any kind of short grain rice, crab delights, an avocado, and julienne cucumbers. I used English cucumbers. Also, you're going to need some seaweed. First, you're going to want to boil the rice. You add one and one fourth cups of water to a saucepan, along with three tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, and one cup of your sushi rice. Once your pot is at a rolling boil, you're going to want to watch it stirring occasionally for about five minutes. After about five minutes, you're going to want to turn the heat down to low and simmer it for approximately 20 minutes, which I have already done for First, you. First, you're going to want to get your nori out, roasted seaweed, put it textured side up, and do, or I guess add, two thirds of a cup of your rice. It might be easier if you um, get your hands wet first, which I have not. This might end up being more than two-thirds of a cup, but I guess it's more to whatever you prefer. Uh, don't just smash down the rice, kind of roll it onto the seaweed, as you can see that I am trying to do. I've always actually enjoyed sushi. I just never knew how to make it. Well, I learned how to make it and decided that I was going to show you guys. Okay, so that is your rice. So I'm gonna take off my gloves. Ah, the joys of gloves. And then I will add my, careful, dear, there's a knife. <laughs> I will add my crab meat to there. And then if you have too long of a crab stick, just don't feel bad, or I guess feel free to cut it in half. I guess gloves would have been a good thing for that too. Add your avocado, adding it to closer towards you so when you roll your stuff you have control of your squishy stuff. Adding your cucumber. Now, it is suggested that you have a sushi rolling mat, but I don't know why, because there you go, a sushi sushi roll. So now, of course you're not going to want to eat it whole, so you're going to want to cut it. Trying not to smash it, of course 
I'm not exactly a professional at that yet. Depending on how big you make these, you should get possibly six per roll, which is what I'm going to try to do. What am I at, dear three? Yes. Nope, squishy. Four. I decided that I'm going to put them on a parchment paper, parchment paper lined um, baking sheet because I want to freeze them. That one didn't work, but I'm going to make it work. A lot of these aren't working. And that is your California roll. Is that it? If you would like to freeze them, as I will do, put them on a parchment paper lined baking sheet in your freezer for two to three hours or overnight, depending on how much time you have. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos. Thank you. Have a great day.